general ledger. The trial balance is in balance. The general ledger, their GL is not. So let's find the accounts payable. It's going to be down here. It's the first liability account. So I'm looking for the first yellow account. So scrolling over, here's the accounts payable. I'm going to put it in here in cell W17115. We're in cell X, X17, X17. I'm not going to put a negative, but just an equals. I'm going to hit the left arrow till I hit the wall again. Left until I hit the wall. Up until we get to our accounts payable. There it is, the 500 and enter. So there we have it. Now this one went up from 1,600. You can think about it in from a from a plus and minus standpoint. It went down further on the timeline, you know, the number line to a negative 2,100. But we think about that as going up in the credit direction to 2,100. That 2,100 should be what's on the trial balance as well, because this should be supporting the trial balance. So there's the 2,100 on the trial balance. It also puts our general ledger back in balance up top. So the next thing we want to do is say, okay, this accounts payable is sorted now by the by the trial balance. It's also sorted by the fact in in by date here. But I also need to ho know who we owe the money to. Who do we owe the money to? So I need another ledger, which we call a subsidiary ledger. And uh, that's going to be a ledger that will add up to the same amount, but is sorted by vendor. So I'm going to post the same accounts payable to the accounts payable subsidiary ledger which we put way on the right past the general ledger. So way, way over here past the GL. There's the accounts, the accounts receivable subsidiary ledger. Here's the accounts, the accounts uh, payable subsidiary. So we got our vendors here, here, this vendor had 700. Let's say it's called vendor four, which might be like the utility company. I won't change the name of the vendor, but let's just say it's like, it's like uh, the utility company is vendor four. And so I'm going to say 115. And I'm going to put the same transaction here. I'm going to do it the same way. I'm going to say equals. I'm going to hold the left arrow till I go all the way to the wall. All the way to the wall. And then scrolling back up. And I want that accounts payable again. Which is, which is going to be in cell D3. So D3. You could just put equals D3 if you want. And that brings us back up to that 500 here. So 500 for that particular vendor. If I added up all the vendors then it's going to take the ending balance of all vendors that should add up to 2100 which should match what's on the trial balance and that, that would be indicated by the zero here that it does let's double check if i go back to the right we've got the 2100 here once again also note that this trial balance to 2100 should automatically adjust our financial statements all the way to the right the financial statements, there's the accounts payable has been adjusted. We're still in balance here because it adjusted it automatically. And our utilities got adjusted automatically here as well. And so everything looks like it populated on the balance sheet. Now note in accounting system, most likely what would happen is you would post this and then you jump to your balance sheet and double check your balance sheet and then drill down on the balance sheet to see what's happening on the GL account on the GL account here. And then you would drill down by making another report that would be a subsidiary ledger report breaking this out by vendor. And you probably wouldn't be looking at the trial balance that much unless you like to look at the trial balance instead of pulling up the financial statements. So that's so let's do it again. Now this time, 